Now located within the shadows of neighboring Dubai and Abu Dhabi, the UAE's smallest emirate is attracting big money, but not from oil, as Heidi Koot reports. A combination of cheap labor, no company taxes, and flexible regulations are paying off in Ras Al Khaimah. It's midday in Ras Al Khaimah. It's close to 40 degrees outside and even hotter in here. Workers are sanding sinks, getting paid about 300 US dollars a month. But these sinks, they can't afford. They're bound for the luxury export market where they can sell for anything up to 1,000 US. Rack Ceramics makes the sinks and makes the money. It's the poster company for Russell Heimer's industrial vision. Its chief executive is also the head of the Emirates Sovereign Wealth Fund. Many people uh, tend to say, do you like to be like Dubai or different than Dubai or like Abu Dhabi and different than Abu Dhabi? The best you can do today is to attract industrial investment and this is what we are doing. Ras Al Khaimah is a strategically important part of the United Arab Emirates. About 60 miles from here, across the Strait of Hormuz, lies Iran. Ras Al Khaimah is similar to Dubai in that it doesn't have any oil or gas reserves. And without that, it's needed to develop other industries in order to grow. And grow it certainly has. During the worst of the global downturn, the Emirates' growth was in the mid-teens. And it's expected to grow another 10% this year, outpacing the national average. That's boosting the coffers at Russell Khaimah's Sovereign Wealth Fund, which is expecting profit to surge 25% this year. We are suddenly seeing um, uh, Rack becoming the third hub, I would say, in the Emirates in terms of attracting uh, foreign companies. And this is indeed due uh, to that uh, easy regulatory environment, I would say, and tax incentive. Which is certainly a plus. A Korean steel plant, an Indian bus manufacturer, and possibly soon an automaker, all lured here, enticed by the prospect of being able to keep all their profits. And with costs this low and margins this high, that's a lot of profit to keep. Heidi Cooch, Bloomberg News, Russell Kramer.